Good morning. It's David Nesbitt. It is August the 7th, 2019. It's 1129. I am the creator and co-founder of Where's My Canada? This message goes out to Canadian Defense Minister, Mr. Harjit Sajan, and United States Secretary of Defense, Mr. Mark Esper. Uh, good morning. The first thing I want to show you, the reason I don't have my shirt on, is I wanted to show both gentlemen what it looks like when a human is being starved to death by non-humans. This is roughly, if you can have a look here, my body now, I'm 55, 54 years old, and this is what it looks like when you're starved to death by non-humans. It's not a great shape, and I look, frankly, like a bit of a Holocaust victim. I've never seen a male, and this is after I've eaten pizza for one week, under the whole charade of eating pizza and you can see things, which is partially true. So we can see, I can now see the mountains around me. But I wanted both of you as defense ministers of both countries to see what it's like to be held as a prisoner here by non-humans that have never been on the planet before, which I remind you, all other forms of life have fled from. I was put in here in June of 2016 and I'm still held prisoner and you can see what they're doing to me. Mr. Seijian, specifically, uh, you have betrayed me three times, sir. You betrayed me in June of 2016 when I was brought into the former country of Canada, which now is a, for, a collection of fascist city-states across the country from city to town. Mr. Seijian, it's gone in my mind so many times, why the goddamn fuck did you not blow up Confederation Bridge? Why did you not do everything in your goddamn power, power to maintain my freedom? You handed me over to an enemy. You, you betrayed me three times. The second time was in June of 2017 when you and everyone else hightailed it out of here and fled Dodge and left me behind. The third time was in Port Hardy in November of 2018 when I tried to board a ship that would have crossed in international waters and possibly given me my freedom. And I was tasered to death by a child. What happened that night, sir? Because a lot of betrayal went on, including the fact that I was shipped back and imprisoned and sent back into a concentration camp in Victorian Vancouver. Sir, what I wonder is, what is going on with the Coast Guard? Because there's a newspaper report that said that two Coast Guard ships were going to be added, one to Port Hardy and one to Prince Hubert in 2019 and on. Yet in December of 2018, I was in Port Hardy. No one thought I was going to be there again. I was in Port Hardy and one of those ships was indeed in the harbor. In April of 2017, 18, sorry, um, 18, I boarded a supposed Rocky Mountaineer train that was to head from Vancouver to North Kamloops to Jasper. It's the famed Rocky Mountaineer that crosses the country. It goes all the way to Montreal, but I only took part of the leg. What I'm getting at is that train, which I believe is on CN land, which is federal property. That train left Vancouver there were supposed to be five stops along the way before we hit North Kamloops. The train did not stop at any of them. I asked the conductor or one of the VIA personnel, alleged VIA personnel, why weren't we stopping? And they said, well, we can make an adjustment to the schedule at any time, which was clear bullshit to me. Somewhere between here, hope and North Kamloops is freedom. What I need to know, Mr. Sajan, I'm so fed up with you at this point in time, but God forbid you're still Minister of Defense, and regardless of what you think of me or not, you have a duty to me as De Minister of Defense to get me my freedom as soon as possible. So what I'm asking you is, if I start walking north along to Yale or the Kennedy River just looked like too much, or what was it, the American River? That looked like too much of a hoax. So we gave up on that last night. I don't know if you fell for that August 7th, 2019, 9.15 a.m. warning that I was given clandestinely, but not really clandestinely, on the passenger seat of a car last week. Whatever that date was, it's passed. So whatever was supposed to happen, somebody was up to no good. 
What I need to know, Mr. Seijian, finally, are you going to fucking goddamn meet me? Are you going to finally goddamn do something for me? I have tried to get out of this fucking shithole at least, at least 20 attempts. Several have landed me in prison because I was that close to a border. I need you to goddamn fucking guarantee me that every fucking goddamn resource available to Canada is spent to meet me and get me the fuck out of here. You owe me. Canada owes me. The Canadian citizen does not owe me, but Canada Inc. owes me big fucking time. Get me back my sister and get me back my freedom. To United States Defense Secretary Mr. Mark Esper, I ask you, sir, as leader of the strongest superpower since Rome, can you spend every dollar and every amount of effort getting me? Meet me halfway. You know what I'm thinking. Get me the hell out of here. You are the only people on earth who can. I'm begging you, meet me halfway. Thank you both gentlemen. Um, life is tough. I have no money for food now for the rest of the month. My Ontario Disability Support Program payment of $840 a month was cut maliciously on December 24th of last year. If you multiply that out, that's about, so we're looking at about nine months, uh, nine times eight, eight, nine, 72. So we're around $7,500. That's why I look like I'm starving to death because I don't have any goddamn fucking money for food. Isn't that funny? Get me the fuck out of here, both of you. It's time.